Hi Taurus, welcome to your August You versus Them Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, we're looking at you and your person, no matter the circumstance, situation, what's going on, taking a look at your energy. I'll be putting you here, your person here, and you can switch the energies if you feel like you need to. And this is for those who truly want to know, um, you know, how you're feeling versus how they're feeling or the situation, whatever the case may be. And for those who really don't uh, care or don't, you know, want to know, maybe it's not your reading, but you know, hopefully it will be. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned, and you definitely can Flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Oh my goodness. Cross watchers as well. Right, feeling those two belong there. Let's get one more on your side. All right. Welcome in Taurus. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right. Well, let's see what we have. Overall energy. Huh, maturity. Hmm. Okay, so maybe this is a case of feeling like, may, it could be a case where maybe the two of you are um, more mature in age, I'll just say it that way, or maybe, you know, this connection has reached a level of maturity, but let's see where this is going. All right, Taurus, let's see, we have emotional freedom and life purpose on your side. Huh. All right, so I'm not sure like if this is a connection where you've just come to the point where you've maybe outgrown each other. Because I'm feeling like you're at a space now where you're feeling emotional free from something and you're concentrating on yourself, your mission, your purpose, uh, and focusing on like what makes you happy and like the calling of your heart. Or maybe you're at the point now where you've both reached that level of Maturity that you're giving each other space and freedom to, uh, you know, be who you're truly meant to be without, like, smothering each other. So, let's see what they have on the side. We have, oops, upside down, compatibility and the Divine Masculine. Wow. Hmm. I'm feeling like, and, and it is... Um, the good side of the divine masculine and females can be masculine so take it as you will but i feel like this side they know now how to make this more compatible for the two of you is for this to be of to be more on a mature sensible energy to make this um just a very easy flowing how can i word it just very compatible easy flowing kind of connection between you without smothering each other without um you know controlling each other kind of way which is really good hmm all right all right taurus so let's see where this is going i just want to thank you everyone for the uh, subscriptions the likes the shares the comments the support i truly and i know i don't say it much but i really really do appreciate all of you and i thank you from the bottom of my heart all right taurus Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there, a list of readings I do. And my other channel, I'm not currently uploading, but it's my backup channel. So if something happens here, you'll find me there. Pin top comment description box. And always go to the community tab. There's always updates. And I've, al I've always got a lot of polls up there to vote on if you'd like to. All right. Okay, Tor. So let's take a look at your side first. And like I said, you could switch them around. We got the page of wands. Somebody's revving something up out there. Sorry guys, I don't know what that is. Eight of Pentacles. Sounds like a weed whack or something. Alright, let's see. Oh my goodness. King of Pentacles. Wow. Lovers in reverse though. Hope that's not too loud out there. Nine of Cups. Six of Pentacles. A very fair balanced energy here. Huh. I'm feeling like, because um, the Nine of Pentacles for me, I mean, Nine of Cups, and I know a lot of people say, oh, that's the, the Nine of Pentacles. When I get the Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, for me, they're single independent energy, but the Nine of Cups is more about our self-fulfillment, happiness, joy, um, 
kind of energy. So I feel like, but yet we have the stable, grounded kind of relationship. So you could be committed to this person or something like that. But the page of wands is usually like good news or it's the creative ideas, outlets that we're starting to perceive and we want to take action to bring those into fruition. And that could be part of uh, life purpose on your part. And the lovers in reverse, um, that could be about, you know, made a decision because upright is about needing to make a decision. In reverse, it could be about I've made a decision here. Let's see. Six of cups. Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Six of Swords. A lot of great energy here. But let's see. Empress in Reverse. Death in Reverse. I'm kind of feeling like here, um, Nine of Wands. I'm kind of feeling like here, uh, Taurus. Again, I'm sorry for that noise out there. Um, I'm kind of feeling like here there's something, the Empress in Reverse, like there's something that is not fulfilling you. I'm not feeling like it's your connection to this person. I'm feeling like it's something within you you feel is lacking. Because uh, the Six of Cups with the Empress Reverse is it's kind of in the Death Reverse. Something from maybe it's been a childhood dream, your life, your mission, your purpose. Something here where Death Reverse, you could not let go of something. So maybe, you know, you wanted to pursue something in your life. Then you met this person and you had to take a different course of action. You weren't able to do something you've always wanted to do. And now you could be at the point where, you know, maybe you've settled down with this person. And you're like, you know what, I really, really need to do this thing I've wanted to do that I couldn't do before. It's part of me. It's within me. It's what I need to do. It's my calling, my mission, my purpose. And we need to find a way for me to do this now that we're in a deeper a relationship or commitment or, or we settle down or whatever the case may be. So I feel like this is something you've been struggling with. You feel like you cannot let go of it no matter how hard you try. The Empress in reverse. You definitely feel like there's something lacking in your life because you're not feeling totally complete with that empress in reverse but i do feel with the six of cups and the wheel of fortune that whatever you're maybe returning back to this thing it's going to bring in a lot of luck growth expansion and positive movement forward and i do see the six of swords um maybe you had to relocate maybe to be with this person or whatever the case may be but the six of swords six of pentacles that's you know Things balancing out, things moving in a better direction, especially with the wheel there. You know, fulfilling, making that decision to fulfill your destiny, your calling. And I feel like with this King of Pentacles, you feel like right now things feel really good and secure for you to do this. In a way, Eight of Pentacles putting in that work on that page of wands, that creative outlet. Because the wands are very creative, um, fiery, passionate, um, ideas integrity so you definitely feel like now's the time to do this and i feel like this person is going to support you you know a very compatible energy and a very compassionate energy a very um uh compromising energy as well it's kind of what i'm feeling so we do have sag virgo that could be you taurus with the king of pentacles for me it's virgo but it could be you gemini sag leo chris taurus scorpio scorpio again libra taurus Let's see, Nine of Pentacles. So having your independence to bring in that prosperity, I feel. And look at that King, Queen of Pentacles. So there's no doubt there's a perfect match here. The two of you here, Eight of Wands. So there's taking action, moving forward. King of Cups. There is a lot of love and stability here, which is great. And temperance. So this is divine alchemy, peace, harmony, balance, healing, you know, bringing everything into balance alignment as it's supposed to be here as well you definitely could have a past life with this connection this person page of swords so i think there's going to be a lot of communication about this as well truth clarity communication you can be doing a lot of research uh education as well things of that nature networking socializing as well let's see nine of swords so getting over fear stress worry anxiety Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords. I'm kind of getting this energy of like Knight of Swords is moving forward fearlessly, uh, quickly. So it's like never too late. Ten of Swords is kind of like ending. So maybe sometimes you thought, well, maybe it's too late. I just need to, you know, put it behind me. But the Knight of Swords is like, no, I'm not putting this behind me. It's never too late to move forward into your, you know, your dreams, your destiny. You see, it just felt um, 
downright, which means, you know, something is not over for you, taking action, something you've been holding back on, two of wands, choosing that path, and going down that, that path, because you felt like, feel like something is not fulfilling for you. So you're getting over the sadness, loss of whatever that is. So, and I feel like this person's got your back. I do. Right, it's a different kind of reading, so I you know I hope that resonates. But let's see what their energy is here for you, Taurus. So maybe you know some of you have been thinking about this, but you're like, mm, I don't know if I should bring this up. You know, I, I think maybe you should. You know, if this resonates. All right. So let's see what's going on their side. What is going on on their side? All right. Let's see. What is going on over here? All right, Taurus, let's see. Queen of Swords. So did we have, did we have the Queen of Swords here? We'll get the Knight of Swords. I thought I saw, was it on the top of the deck? Maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. I feel like this person they may even help you. I mean, we got the Knight of Wands here, which is about getting up, taking action. Truth, clarity here with the Queen of Swords. Ten of Cups, a very happy outcome. Interesting. Six of Wands, success, victory. It's almost like they're going to help you on your journey here. And when I do see a lot of success, victory here. High Priestess. They could have a lot of um, secret knowledge that could help you that maybe you don't even know about. I feel like this is not there has not been a lot of communication about this either. Maybe they haven't brought it up because you haven't brought it up, and maybe they know that you've given up a lot to be with them, or whatever the case may be, and maybe it's something that was never talked about. Queen of Pentacles. King, Queen of Pentacles again. Wow. So there's no doubt here that this is a very, very supportive connection here, a very uh, stable, grounded one as well, because we have the King and the Queen on your side and now you, the queen is coming up on their side which could be you Taurus hermit I feel like this person kind of they kind of like retract keep to themselves because maybe they part of them felt bad and maybe they always kept you know, kept that a secret within them that they felt bad that you had to give up something to be with them devil in reverse which is good. There's no fear here. There's, um, that's like the lover's upright. So, which is a great energy, which you had yours in reverse. So, let's see. A fool. So, fresh, clean slate, taking that leap of faith. Seven of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. And King of Wands in reverse. Huh. I mean, this person could be a hard worker as well. Seven of Wands and the King of Wands in reverse here. I, def I, I don't feel like this person, I mean, whatever happened here, I feel like they know, like I already said that, but like you gave up a lot maybe to be with them. And I feel like a part of them, they don't feel great about that. Now the King of Wands reversed. It could also be something where maybe they had their own business or something and that could be failing right now. And they may come and say to you, hey, you know what, why don't you go after your dream here? Because maybe they feel like you could be more, you could be successful, maybe more successful than they are. But I also feel like the seven of wands can be, you know, a little bit of a wall or defense and if are fighting for what we want. I feel like whatever guilt they had about like you having to give up what you had to give up. I feel like they kept a lot of that inside. They didn't re really want to tell you that they feel guilty or they felt like it was their fault because maybe you were reassured them that everything was fine. But part of them had a really hard time of letting that go. But with the devil in reverse, they could be getting over that as well. But I do feel like, I feel like this is person's going to tell you, hey, look, you know, take that leap of faith, go for it. You know, fight for what you want, put in the work. And maybe they know that maybe you're going to start your own business or be an entrepreneur or a leader in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you had to give that up to move, relocate, whatever, to be with them. And maybe they know that you had to give up like a big 
big position to do that. And now they're like, you know what? If you have this opportunity, go make this happen. I want you to do it. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. We have a lot of truth and clarity coming with the Queen of Swords right here. So this seems like very, I mean, it's not a lot about love. It's more about life, purpose, mission, going after dreams and getting a lot of support surrounding that. So, I mean, they may not, this may not resonate for a lot of people, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. So hopefully it resonates for some, but we do have here, um, Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Capricorn, Sag, Libra. Of course, these pentacles could be your energy, uh, Taurus. Four of Wands. Maybe working from home for someone here as well. But this could be, you know, if you have not, like, I feel like you're in some sort of committed relationship. This could be leveling up, maybe marriage, proposing. Look at that, King and Queen of Swords. There's no doubt here you two aren't a match. King, Queen of Swords. We have the uh, King, Queen of Pentacles. So they're about to speak truth, clarity here. There's unconditional energy here. I mean, they have the lovers upright. So... There's definitely a strong connection here with you, Knight of Wands. There has been some struggles, that is for sure, but it's all about growth, expansion here. And they do want to see you grow and flourish and have your independence to uh, fulfill your wishes. I mean, you have the Nine of Cups right there. And I said Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So, and truth, clarity is coming in here for you to be successful in a new beginning for yourself, I feel. And the Ace of Pentacles, look at that. So investing in a long-term um, energy here. Wheel of Fortune here. So that's twice. Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing, things moving in the right direction. Things have been stuck and they know this, that this is something that you've always, always thought about. And even if you didn't vocalize it, something that you couldn't take action on and they know that, that things felt you know out of balance for you but they want you to start this new cycle. Maybe the two of you are going to relocate again. And I did see they they didn't feel 100% um, good about the whole situation, even if they never told you that, and kind of um, reiterates that with the Emperor in reverse. Definitely here. But we do have Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio here. So I do see things moving forward um, in a really good energy, them being very supportive, or maybe it's reversed, you know, so reverse it if you need to, but things moving forward in a positive direction. A lot of support, uh, stability, uh, compromise, compatibility as well. It's really good energy here, Taurus. So let's see what this deck has to say for you. This did resonate. Are you enjoyed this? Taurus, did I call you Scorpio? Or did I say Taurus? I don't know. This is Taurus. <laughs> I don't know. I do so many readings, and it, sometimes they all kind of... I think readers go through that. Well, you don't remember the reading you just did. So a lot of times I don't remember what I read when I'm done. And then people ask me questions in the comments. I'm like, I'd have to go back and watch the whole reading because I really don't know. <laughs> so if you're asking me, like, well, they do this or that, I, I can't answer that because I'd have to go back and watch the whole reading again. So that's readers. We read and then we kind of freak forget the reading plus we do so many readings it's hard to remember what happened exactly happened in every reading but anyway Taurus let's see what this deck has to offer if you did like this or it resonated please do like share subscribe comment hit the bell any support given is truly truly appreciated and I thank you and again everything you need is below so let's see reevaluate your priorities yeah so definitely reevaluating here and keeping our commitment to something that maybe you had to give up in the past and I do see a very committed connection here and a very solid one I said that through the whole reading wow so spirits backing me up on that okay this one rejuvenate so you know get your rest you know get yourself in shape because I think you're about to go on an old, another whole journey here independently I, and I don't mean away from this connection but as uh, your own person of finally fulfilling something within you that you've been lacking here go for your dreams oh my god spirit backing me up here and bust out of your cocoon so you may have been feeling a little stuck and it, you're going to bust out here definitely and be decisive so big big decision time that is for sure right Taurus that is what I have for you so I hope that helped that resonated again everything you need to know is down below I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time